So yesterday, I jumped on an international flight. And at this point, I've been on close to 100 flights in the last eight, nine months. So would I say that this flight was by far the best flight that I've taken all year? I seriously, seriously mean it. The staff was so nice. And after being on so many flights where all the people flying just really don't want to be there, the flight attendants are so jaded. This was quite a unique experience. I'm talking about this because it's such a great reminder. I understood intellectually the concepts of finding compassion or being nice to others or how meaningful it could be when I was learning meditation or at least that part of my yoga practice. But that's where using visualization can really be helpful. Remembering these moments where someone was just nice or you were just nice to someone and you changed someone's day. So, you know, with that said, how to take yoga off the mat and find a little bit more compassion. Well, you know, little, little notes. I know that's a common thing. I like to put it on my phone because my phone's always on me. Maybe you could put a quote or a picture so that it's a little bit more discreet, but it'll be something where you can um, always be reminded to, to be a little bit kinder. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm in China. I'm on the Great Wall. In these travels, especially the last few segments of travel, uh, it's been a little intense. So I wanted to make a video uh, specifically for like people who are traveling or sitting a long time, you know, stuck in those uncomfortable airplane seats. So you end up being hunched over for a long period of time, shoulders rounded, kind of in this crouched position, super uncomfortable. Uh, especially if you slept in the plane, then maybe your neck is all sorts of weird and cranked. Here are just like very simple exercises that you can do to open up the body. We're gonna focus on opening up the chest, finding a bit of external rotation, external rotation in the arms so that we can open up the shoulders a little bit more as well as get into the hips and things. So uh, to get started, I do want to strengthen a little bit and it's not anything intense, don't worry, but. Uh, build a little bit of heat, a little bit of blood flow into my hip flexors. So uh, if you check it out over here, then uh, we're gonna do a little bit of hip flexor exercises. Don't forget to do the other side as well. Uh, here, let me get out of the way. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a little bit of strengthening. Um, getting into a little bit of stretching into the hip flexors here and here. And let me get out of the way for this one again. Yeah, I don't. I'm 
we're just going to make it a little bit more active as opposed to dumping down into the pelvis. So squeezing the glute is going to help you find a little bit of a posterior tilt in the pelvis, just tilting your pelvis back. Um, what this is going to do is access your hip flexors a little bit more, your psoas. Okay, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm just doing exercises on my bed because um, every hotel room is a little bit different, but one thing that you do have is a bed. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't show something with a ton of space, not that I have a ton of space here, but um, I do have this bed. So next up, sitting in a plane for an extended period of time, changing planes, whatever, my inner thighs as well gets a little tight. So coming into a frog pose, I actually do like the bed because it's a little bit softer on the knees so you can bring a little bit more engagement. Okay, so let's check it out. Jesus, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm not trying to make this easier. I'm just going to do a couple things. One, I'm gonna squeeze my inner thighs together and it's almost like I'm trying to draw my knees in. That's gonna find a little bit of engagement into the adductors, your inner thighs. And then I'm gonna squeeze my outer glutes, almost like I'm trying to lift my knees off the bed. They're not actually gonna come off the bed, but that's the engagement that you want. It's this concept called reciprocal inhibition, where you are engaging the opposing muscle, the antagonist muscle, in order to open up the other muscle. All right, getting into the shoulders a little bit. Um, again, I'm not gonna make this entirely passive. And um, you might want to, especially if you're a little bit more tight. Uh, I do teach yoga for a living and I've been doing yoga for like 17 years at this point. So um, I feel like in my body, just making things very passive starts stretching into the tendons and ligaments, uh, which I don't really want. Um, so keeping a muscle active keeps the stretch into the muscle as opposed to the attachments as much as possible. Let's go check it out. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to sit down, try to keep my spine straight and uh, really find as much tension into my arms and try to keep my shoulder blades spreading as opposed to squeezing together. Alright, next up, low back tends to get tight, more specifically your QLs, which is this part right here. Low back on the side. And there's a couple ways I like to stretch into my QLs. Actually, it's the same twist done two different ways. One, we're rooting down the legs, so rooting down the lower half of the body and stretching the upper half of the body, the torso. And the other way is we're rooting the upper body down and twisting the legs. It's just a supine twist, just done a little bit differently. Try these out. Okay, last quick exercise. Um, is actually really simple. It's not even an exercise. You're just going to kick your feet up against the wall. It doesn't need to be on the bed. You can do this on the floor. You can do this wherever. If you have a chair, I have a chair over here on the side. You can uh, rest your legs up. Um, your legs don't necessarily need to be straight. If, you're, if your legs are a little bit tight, you can take them a little bit wider or you can bring them together-ish. So I'll show you what, you, what I mean. Uh, mainly the whole purpose of this is when you sit on airplanes your legs tend to get um, filled with a lot of fluid and for me for example I've been flying in a plane almost we'll say on average about every seven days all right I hope you liked it give these a try let me know how they went if you like them give them a thumbs up if you didn't like them give them a thumbs up Let's see what I did there yeah, leave me a comment. I would love to chat with you guys. If you have any questions, of course, I am here. 
Uh, definitely check out some classes that have smarter hips, smarter shoulders. Both are great for increasing mobility for your yoga practice or in life at, in general. So, um, Aloe Moose, go check it out. All right. Uh, okay. I ordered delivery in my room and I just tripped over it. Oh, okay, so. Stay here.